Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8, verses 26 through 28. The Holy Spirit is not the companion of the hours of mourning alone, although he is that. He is the strength of the soul in every moment when life is difficult, when problems seem insoluble, when the way ahead is dark, or even when we feel we are near our breaking point in life. The Holy Spirit is the one who enables us to cope with life. Of course, that is exactly what comforter means in the Bible. The word comforter has in it the Latin adjective fortis, which means brave, and a comforter is one who puts courage into a person. We must not forget how precious is the word comforter, nor should we forget how great a function of the Holy Spirit comfort is in the modern sense of the word. But to limit the function of the Holy Spirit to that alone takes much of the strength and iron and virility and gallantry out of the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. It is very difficult to get an English translation for parakletos. It may well be that Moffat is right when he translates it simply but cogently and beautifully as the helper. I know how associations tend to collect around any word, but no translation is sacred and immutable and unchangeable. And the translation of parakletos by the word comforter is very likely to make the Holy Spirit the refuge of age rather than the inspiration of youth, the consoler of the sad rather than the spur and stimulus to chivalrous and to gallant living. The Holy Spirit is both, and the word helper seems to include both ideas. We will add power and relevance to the doctrine of the Spirit if we once and for all banish the word ghost and if we cease to limit the work of the Spirit by too much use of the word comforter in relation to Him. What about you? Have you claimed the gift God offers of His Spirit through your obedient submission to baptism? Will you allow His Spirit to not only comfort you during times of sadness or grief, but also allow Him to guide and help you along the pathway God desires for you to walk? This has been Upreach a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. One of these days. One of these days. I get in a hurry the, the, the stars and the planets, the and the planets. Oh, well, I'm gonna See Jesus rise to meet him in the end. Stepping on a cloud, he will greet us. All the joy together we'll share. I'm a gonna leave this world behind me. I'm a going where the devil cannot find me. I'm going higher, 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 higher to meet Jesus. Jesus. Stepping on a cloud, stepping on a cloud. One of these days, one of these days. I'm gonna leave.